Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video with Thinkorswim and how to change the appearance on the screen. Uh, I'm using my Thinkorswim, if you look up here, my simulated trading account. Um, we just highly suggest using um, a simulated account. If you're not uh, currently a member of them with Thinkorswim or if you're brand new, before you get started with trading, we highly suggest using their simulated account, making, you know, maybe even up to a couple hundred trades with them and just getting really comfortable with their platform. We love Thinkorswim platform. It, they're really great. They're really interactive, but it could be, as you can see up here, very complicated, lots of buttons, lots of different things going on. And just sometimes finding, you know, how to make the simplest change could be extremely complicated. I can't tell you how many times uh, that I've called Thinker or actually TD Ameritrade. Um, I, I can't tell you how many times I've called them just to ask even what I what you would think would be the simplest question because their their platform is pretty complicated. But that's why if you just practice and use um, their platform, call their customer service, which is excellent. You'll you'll you know, over time start to become more comfortable with their platform. And especially with trading, you don't want to go playing with real money or uh, using your real money in your brokerage account if you're not f familiar and comfortable with the platform that you're using. Uh, so again, we love Thinkorswim. We've made some uh, tutorial videos as well um, just to kind of help our followers uh, because, again, you know, it could be very difficult to to kind of you know navigate through their platform so make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel before you leave and uh watch our playlist on think or swim so we do our best we can to help you out to get really you know started with think or swim and using their platform so right now i'm going to show you how to change the appearance um, of these screens because it can be kind of annoying when you log in uh, there's so many different looks and screens and feels and you know trying to find out which um appearance is best for you. Right now, I've kind of had this set up myself, so I've done this. I've kind of gone in and I've tweaked it to the way I like it, but I'm going to erase it right now and show you something completely different, kind of how it looks out of the box. So I'm going to go to reset to factory default. So if you look at this over here, um, I'll show you a little tip here as well. I'll make it one screen. So up here, this is how you can do multiple screens with uh, Think or Swim. So uh, we have a separate video on that, but I'll give you a little tip here on how to find separate screens. So we'll make it one screen. So typically when you get in and you first get started with the Thinkorswim platform, this is kind of how things look. It gets kind of, uh, I personally think it looks kind of messy and a little bit ugly. Um, but, you know, a lot of people will come in, they'll say, well, how do I change the candlesticks and the background and the volume bars and kind of make it, uh, look the way I like it. Well, where you first want to go is go up to this toggle wheel right up here where it says chart settings and you want to click on that. And when you click on that, you'll see a bunch of different things that come up. Uh, I'm just going to focus in on a couple of them. Again, most of them I don't use. I don't play around with. It's all a matter of preference what you're looking to do. But the first thing I'll show you right here is overlap volume. Um, so right now, I like to personally keep my um, volume bars below my chart, but just to show you what it looks like if you do put overlap volume and I apply it, you'll see it kind of makes it all one. Now, some people might like that. I personally like it separate because sometimes if the candlesticks are down here and the volume goes up and interferes with it, it might be kind of tough, tough to read the chart. So it's up to you whether you want to overlap volume or leave it undone. I like it undone personally. So I'll click apply. Whenever you click apply, it applies the changes. Uh, price access here, you can come in here. I don't really play around with this area at all. Uh, time access and quick time frames. This is where you can add different time frames. So in the drop down menu up here, you'll see this is where all the different time frames are. So I'll press cancel again. And you'll see when I click on this, all the different time frames. I personally usually just go in uh, and change everything by customize list. Again, with Thinkorswim, it can be very complicated, but at the same time, you can make multiple changes in different areas on their platform. So, you know, I might do it this way and you or someone else might do it the other way I was going to show you. It's not really a right or wrong. It's just uh, Thinkorswim, like I said, it's kind of complicated. Um, but kind of you can get the job done once you play around with it for a while. So, you know, I personally going in here and add a time frame. So if I want to change 
um, and add a time frame. I can go in to add a time frame, come down here, you know, look what time frame I'm looking to add. Um, let's say I was going to do, well, I already added the 1, 3, I have the 5, the 15. Um, just say you wanted to get a 2-day 5-minute. I can just drop down and do 2 days, 5-minute. Uh, let me see if that worked. Yep, five minute add. And you'll see it added the two day five minute and I could move it up just by doing that if I wanted. But um, I am going to just delete it right now because I don't want it. So all you gotta do is click on it, press delete, it's gone. Then I just, I would hit apply if I was gonna make any changes to it. But but that's how you kind of change the uh, time frame just by doing that. So just, I'm not gonna play around with it right now. So now going back here to the chart, still looks messy. We haven't really accomplished anything yet. So ba basically go back up here, click the toggle wheel. Uh, so like I said, I showed you, you can do the time access uh, or the quick time frames right here. So you can do it here or you can do it up there. I guess it's just a matter of preference, but this is where you go to appearance and you can change the appearance. So click on the appearance one and then you'll see this is what the candlesticks look like. And you can change the colors of the ticks, the border up and down. You can change the color of the doji over here to you know click on the color and again, change it to however you like it. Uh, I personally like to fill my candlesticks. So all I gotta do is just click that and it fills them if you don't like it filled then just leave it unfilled just like that it's a matter of preference so i like them filled i also like to change and make things a little bit more of a vibrant color so sometimes i'll go in and i'll you know go to my candlesticks i might make them a little bit more green to stick out again it's just a matter of preference so you'll see if i click apply makes them a little bit more green. I like my reds a little bit more red, so I'll just come down here to more and find a brighter red, click apply, and so you'll see, it changes the colors here. Um, what I can go up, same thing with the ticks. You can see some of the tick ones, the smaller ones, um, they're not as vibrant, so I'll just go in over here again, and I will just make these a little bit more vibrant. And let me just see with the red ones, how they change. Yep, so you see the red now. So now you see more of a more, more of a kind of like, I like it more of this type of color, but again, it's just your matter of preference. Uh, now you come down here, cursor is obviously what my cursor is looking like. Um, you gotta change, sometimes you'll make a change and then it'll give you an error message like it's not gonna work and you have to change the color of your cursor. I'll show you how that works, but uh, next thing I'll show you is the volume bars. Right now it has it preset to the blue down here. I like to do it as color as symbol six, or color as symbol ticks. Um, so you basically just do that, and if you click apply, you'll see now it looks the same color as up above. That's just, again, it's just a matter of preference. And then background, this is more, again, there's no right or wrong way with think or swim here. This is just a matter of preference. Uh, some people like the darker background, some people like the lighter background. I actually navigate, you know, it seems like almost like on a weekly basis, which one I like to do because I make videos for our community. So I usually have to do the white to make it look a little bit better on the video. So sometimes I'll keep it as white. And then sometimes when I'm staring at my screen, I like it as the darker color. But just to show you, all I got to do is click on background, put it to white, and then hit apply. And then voila, now I have a white screen. Um, so it's just, again, a matter of preference. If you don't like these grids in, in the centers here, all you got to do is click on remove the grid, hit apply, and now there's no grid there. Um, so that's really how you basically change the appearance, um, you know, of your chart. So you just would hit click OK, and then you would go on up here and you would click here and you would save style. And then you can change the style name to, you know, let's see, maybe I'll just do it as test. Test, and I'll put include patterns and study set, hit save. Um, so now I'm gonna go and load my one that I use normally, which is this one here, 
my momentum one with my different um, studies. Again, I'm not going to go over the studies in here and how you do it. We'll have separate videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can watch our Think or Swim uh, videos, which show you how to do the studies. But you'll see this is how my how I have mine set up. You know, I can scroll and it looks a little bit cleaner. But just to go back to the one I did, because a lot of times this is the one of the annoyances with Think or Swim. Uh, when you go in, sometimes you'll log in and it'll change your ch your charts. It'll disappear. It'll default to a normal one. Uh, like this to give you an example now let's say if I wanted to add a second screen on here where you're like well this is annoying I can't see how do I get this chart to link over here all you got to do is click here the link key and you'll put it to red and now it's red but now you're like well wait a second I, I this is annoying it's going back to the original um, look of thinkorswim and it's not going over here like my original chart well that's when you want to come over here and because you saved your uh, style, you just come down here and load it. And then I would click on momentum and voila, that's how you get it. Now to try and figure this out on your own, if you're new and you're not familiar with the platform, like I said, it, it took me forever to figure it out on my own. And then I just said, forget it. I'm calling uh, TD Ameritrade. And then they're, like I said, their customer service is extremely helpful. But just to go back again, we'll put it back to the one chart and go back to the style I just showed you. Go back to test. That's what we just created before. So that's how it works. So uh, always remember, like when you you know tweak it the way you like it, and then go up here to uh, load style or or to save, and then you would load style. So right now I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna down here. I'm gonna delete this style, and it says, "Do you want to delete the style test?" Yes. Um, so I deleted it, and I'll just go back to the one I like. See now it's gone, and I'll click on momentum. Voila, I'm back where I like it. Again, I'll show you again some more tips here. Go back up. I, I like to look at multiple screens. I just come over here and I click the link, click it to red. If I had it as yellow, see now it's different. It's not working up. But if I go here, down to yellow, over here, and then I would go down here and I would load the style and link it together. So that's how you change the appearance. Um, with think or swim basically you just go up to this toggle wheel come down to appearance kind of tweak it make sure you get it the way you like it again think or swim platform is a little bit complicated it's great to use we love it we highly recommend using them but uh, you definitely want to practice and get comfortable with it first so uh if you're not familiar with our Facebook trading community, we have a great community on Facebook called the Bullish Bears. We're a great group of traders from around the world that have a lot of fun and we help each other out on a daily basis. So make sure you come and join us if you're not a member of our community yet. Our uh, link below is at bullishbears.com and uh, we would love to have you as part of our community. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date on our latest videos. Uh, we try to put out a lot of content for our followers, as well as if you want more help with Think or Swim, number one, you can call uh, TD Ameritrade directly, and they're phenomenal. They have great customer service, but also to watch our YouTube playlist. We try to do a lot with Think or Swim to show our followers. And also,